how to identify the specific points for trend line to determine the direction of the market. In this example, I am using the Nasdaq index. Trend line can be confusing. For example, um, the Nasdaq, this downtrend started somewhere in the middle of November last year. And let's try to plot the trend line. Should we use these two points to project downwards? Or maybe should we use this point onwards to project downwards? And or maybe should we consider these two points? I know it's really confusing. And let me just clear this off and we will get the program started. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to introduce you to the primary and secondary trend line. I hope after this tutorial, it will bring greater clarity in how you can deploy them. So in fact, uh, you can use this trend line techniques to any markets because its principle in this tutorial are applicable throughout whether to an individual stocks, indices, or even commodities. All right, so let's get started. But before we get into the topic, please take some time to read through the disclaimer in the description box below. Now, so to plot a downtrend line, in this case for NASDAQ, uh, there are two rules where if you refer to all my previous videos I did mention for a downtrend, we look for the first rule is that we have to identify the significant peaks. Then after that, the rule number two is that we will do the best fit. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to draw the primary downtrend line. Now the primary downtrend line is that we look for the highest point. Starting from the highest point or the highest point, the most prominent one, and we try to connect the, the dots. Now how to draw a downtrend line where there's uptrend downtrend but in this case i'm going to demonstrate the primary downtrend line is that we have to identify at least three significant peaks then we're going to do the best fit now we're going to extend here a little bit and you could see that uh there were three significant peaks here okay now this is one two and three and these are higher lines and it's okay for the trend line to rest it either on the four points because every uh, bar chart or candlestick in this case there are four crucial points the open high low and close so all these points we could use them when i say the best fit is that should we uh, place it here but we can place it here as you could see that it still rested on this three significant peaks at the open here and open here maybe i'm just going to expand here a little bit to let you appreciate a little bit more so at the opening price opening price and at a high now i'm going to squeeze in back here now so these became my primary downtrend line and i'm going to put a footnote here primary okay i'm going to type it okay so this is my primary downtrend line and now the next one is that i'm going to draw the secondary downtrend line and what i'm going to do here is that i find that this few significant peaks now the rule is the first rule is that we have to identify at least three significant peaks then after that rule number two is that we try to find the best fit now this is what i'm going to do maybe i'm going to start from here now it's all experimental so what we can do is that we just experiment with it three significant peaks at least then we try to find the best fit and i felt that um maybe I just extend here a little bit out here and i kind of like this where i saw that there was a first peak second peak and third peak now this became my secondary downtrend line and i'm going to write a footnote here secondary downtrend line now so there's only one primary downtrend line and we can have a few secondary downtrend line for example um in the previous video we spotted the uh, the low uh the rebound for this mid july and how we do that that uh is this at least three significant peaks that we could see here now, let me just adjust here and rule number two is that we try to find the best fit so what I could do here is that I could find that there was a first peak, second, third, fourth. 
at least three and we connect uh, all the way down somewhere in the middle of july in the previous video we uh, technically we spotted this rebound and 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 we saw that it's resistant resisted here and this is became my secondary one and secondary two uh, now i'm just going to explain to you how it works and um so what happened then uh that was today uh the day is 23rd of uh august is a wednesday and last wednesday i was invited to a private session for a sharing about the market <laughs> so what happened here was um we saw this secondary downtrend line and tuesday now this was tuesday it kind of settled it here very nicely and we do the same thing we plot the primary downtrend line the secondary downtrend line as well and tuesday rested here very nicely and just the presentation was made was made on wednesday before the market opened so we are discussing that technically maybe there's opportunity to sell short uh for today which is wednesday then um that's what we see so then the price was at about thirteen thousand. let's say around up to about thirteen thousand seven hundred. then after that it went all the way down um to yesterday below thirteen thousand. so we just take it as 700 points uh, um, profit well i'm going to come back to here uh to back here again to how to manage uh between all these lines so we could see that there was a resistance points and it rested really nicely on tuesday and that's where wednesday we get into the action now i'm going to go back to uh last year then after that i'm going to come back to revisit here to um have an understanding how to manage this few major uh, downtrend line the secondary and primary downtrend line and for that i'm going to move to the macro view on the weekly chart applying the same principle and i think many of you have been following me you know my mandate for the u.s market indices and basically technically what we're seeing here is that is could be on a major bear market so basically the whole idea about major bear market is that we try our best to sell into strength now that's what i'm seeing here um before 2022 it was a super nice run on the major uptrend now same thing for major uptrend the rule applies that what we should do is to connect at least three significant trough so so that's what we did and then what we're trying to do here is that we try to find the best fit that's on the weekly chart so we we saw a a super bull run between uh 2020 to 21 with this super nice uptrend line now what happened here was uh we discussed about that before and on the third week of 2022 and this line this candlestick it broke below this super nice uptrend line and it's very convincing that the transition has begun which is from an uptrend to a downtrend and now we are part of the downtrend where my focus always moving forward in 2022 is to sell into strength but that doesn't mean i do not buy on dips it's just that on buy on dips i make it a quick one but my focus is to sell into strength now i'm going to go back to the daily chart to discuss how are we going to manage uh, between the primary downtrend line and secondary downtrend line now so that was last wednesday that's where we initiate a position let's say around up to about 13,700. Now, so we were right with a stop loss, which is on Tuesday high, and that will be the stop loss. And this run has been nice, 13,000. Now, as for the profit, um, I will leave it to you how you're gonna manage it. But in the event that the market start to make a U-turn and start to move up, of course, along the way, I will encourage you to take some profit. But in the event it's gonna start to make a U-turn, and break this secondary downtrend line the next objective it may be heading for the for the primary primary downtrend line but for the time being is staying good under pressure and you may consider to hold on to your short position as well so i hope that that will explain uh, give you a great clarity about how to apply trend line using primary and secondary downtrend line it will uh, get rid of all the confusion <laughs> so, and this method I, I just shared it can be applied to any market and any time frame so be it the minute chart or the weekly chart 
So for those who are intrigued by how to participate in trading NASDAQ, uh, this is what you can do. Um, understand the contract. So basically the um, contract spec states that the minimum movement is every quarter point, which is 0 0.25. The worth is 50 cents US dollars. So I convert it to one full point for easy reference. It means that one full point is two US dollars. In the context of when I shot at 13,700, say for example, yesterday I took profit at 13,000. That's about 700 points. Now, 700 points times two, because one point is worth two US dollars, is equal to 1,400 US dollars. So I think that will give us an, um, an idea how to get started in trading the NASDAQ. So also in the past, I had to pay expensive subscription fee for charting software like this. Now, most of us can get it for free. Now, the only downside is there is a 10 minutes delay. So if you're serious about trading into the shorter term position, like, like what I just did, you should really consider subscribing to the exchange live data for a small fee. Continue to explore this topic with these related videos and register for these webinars as well. Follow my Facebook page for my daily market insights. To be updated with my latest video, subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on the notification bell. See you again very, very, very soon.